What is up, everybody? It is Wick here, and I am inside of a Goodwill. I am looking for things I can buy and sell on eBay, Amazon, Facebook Marketplace, wherever. Here's some of these lawn darts. Now, you can't sell the ones with metal tips, but the plastic tips are fine to sell. You can sell the ones with metal tips, I think, locally, like on Facebook or Craigslist. I'm not sure if they're restricting them. Here's some LL Bean shoes I found that are in the cart. Only $4.99. Canasta card game. I picked these up. I've sold them on Amazon for upwards to $40, $45 even. So I like to pick them up when I see them. Price is a bit lower now though, so probably won't get that much. Here's some vintage roller blades. And I looked these up. Just not worth a whole lot. Some are. These I think we're selling for around $25, $30. Bucks. They were $13. I decided not to mess with them. There's a Batmobile that was just a newer, cheaper one. Uh, some sort of car carrying case there. Not sure what that was. Looks like a Thomas the Tank engine thing, which some of those are definitely worth picking up. A Ninja Turtle, newer one. Not really interested in that, unless it's vintage for me. Though some of the newer stuff can have some value, so, you know, I don't think that one was. I've picked those up in the past. Here are some Hoka shoes I found, and these are only $4.99. They're in pretty good condition, so happy to pick those up. I've always been able to sell that brand very quickly, so no doubt I'll be able to sell those. Here's a bedside phone. Some of those are worth money. They used to be, they used to sell really well. Yeah, there's too many on eBay right now, not enough demand for them, so I wouldn't recommend picking them up unless they're a good one. Here's one of these, I think it was a Samsung, like old organizer. Again, some models are worth money. That one was not, I looked it up. Darth Vader, Simon game. I sold a bunch of those new one time. I got on clearance, made some decent money. Used, at least I don't think they're good used. I mean, I sold them new for like 15, 20 bucks on Amazon. I, they weren't worth a whole lot then. Maybe they've went up. But inside of this Goodwill, there's a bunch of new stuff that has come out, and I'm looking for anything that's valuable. Got a bunch of shoes down here. Now this Goodwill, not very good when it comes to shoes. They price them pretty high. Here's some Timberland boots, kind of worn and beat up. And uh, yeah, $13, ended up passing on those. I see these cat shoes here, $9.99. Um, start looking for the other shoe, they're steel-toed. I thought, oh, these might be worth picking up. Uh, no, not worth picking up, really, even at $5. They just weren't selling. Uh, there's some on there priced 15 bucks pre-owned. Uh, so, yeah, I just decided to pass on them. They had a little bit of wear on them as well. So, that deterred me a little bit. Uh, what else we got here? Some mugs, shoes, some candle holders, I guess those are trash can you just never know what's going to come out at these thrift stores that's just what makes it fun now there's some good under armor shoes here and i picked those up and took them to the register to pay for and then i just saw a hole in them <laughs> so i'm like oh yeah i don't want these so ended up putting those back unfortunately they were like 40 or 50 dollar pair of under armor shoes there's these heelys um yeah i didn't want to pick them up i I don't think they've the comps have gotten any better on them. I could be wrong on those. Looks like a pinata there, some sort of bear. A couple okay hats. Um, don't really want to pick them up. They're like twelve dollar hats for three dollars. So left those. Check out this cart real quick. See what else I can find on it. And just peeking around. I probably should have moved those just in case anything was under there. Could have been a big treasure. So many times I've moved like a picture or something like that. And I was like, whoa, I'm glad I moved it. <laughs> uh, here's some Adidas shoes. Nothing too special. Kind of worn. Uh, over here, I'm looking at the dishes. And I see something. I'm like, hey, is this Pyrex? It's been a long time since I've seen Pyrex anywhere. $6.99. I'm like, hey, that looks pretty nice. So end up Google lensing the design. And it looks like I can make some money on it. So decided to pick that up try my luck at it uh, last one I found was some vintage piece in a box at a garage sale like a year or two ago I ended up selling for 50 or 60 dollars so 
Yeah, I, don't, I like picking them up when I find, you know, the unique stuff anyway that's in good condition. But if you could right now, if you're enjoying the video, please hit that like button for me. It really does help the video, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. That was just some sort of jewelry box or something. I'm not sure what that was. Didn't appeal to me. And I'm just checking to see if there's any nice glasses, collectible stuff. And over here, uh, just more of the same. So much of this stuff is donated. It's crazy. Uh, and $1.99 for those, which I guess is a fair price. $2.99, I guess, is a fair price for that Pyrex uh, uh, measuring cup, which I have the exact same one. Uh, they don't sell great on eBay. Actually, I guess the comps are pretty good. It's just you don't get a lot of money because there's so many of them. Here's a glass that caught my eye. Uh, I think it was just some sort of new reproduction um, based on something. Usually when a glass is antique or something like that, uh, it's not really an antique. So, sweatshirts. Going to go through the clothing and see if I can find anything. And I was recording, uh, hoping to find some good clothing in this Goodwill. But I didn't find anything. And another Goodwill that I wasn't recording the clothing is where I found some clothing items. A nice jacket. Uh, and just kind of an okay shirt, which you'll be seeing those in the haul. But, yeah, I mostly just look through the men's stuff now. I don't look through the women's. Every now and then I'll look through the women's jackets and sweatshirts. But, yeah, I just like to keep moving and go to different Goodwills rather than go through all the women's clothing. Uh, like this Goodwill, I find some monitor stands new in box. So, pick those up, can make some money in the Christmas area. I see this pond, the village skating pond, $7.99. And I thought, oh, Department 56? No, it's Kmart. I'm like, ah, oh, it's not going to be worth much. I look it up. Yeah, those sell for $50. However, it's missing almost every single piece. So, yeah, I, I didn't buy that, unfortunately. Um, actually, it was missing every piece but the pond. So, not worth picking up. But if it would have been complete, I could have sold it for $50. Not seeing much else here in the uh, Christmas stuff, which I'm glad they're still putting out some Christmas stuff. Uh, looks like they're going to be doing that all year uh, because good stuff can come out. Uh, this gnome here, favorite things. Uh, there was something with this. I don't remember if it, the comps were bad, it was broken or what. But check this out. I find oh, these exercise things. There's the jacket I found. A nice leather jacket be able to make some money on and a pillow for myself so <laughs> yeah sometimes you find stuff that you can use at these thrift stores but let me show you everything i found thrifting it's some really cool stuff i'm gonna be able to make some money on It is time for me to jump into the hall, show you what I found, how much I'm gonna make, all that good stuff. Here I have some of these dual monitor mounts. These were $7.99 at Goodwill. I got two boxes of them. They appear to be new, one's sticker sealed. The other's open, but it seems to be unused. I'll sell these new open box on eBay, and I think I'll make at least $20 a piece on them. It's possible I even use one myself. I think I have an idea of maybe where I could use one. Uh, these are selling on Amazon for $60. However, this is a restricted brand. So kind of an interesting pickup for only $7.99. Another kind of interesting pickup are these Max Living. Something to do with your spine uh, exercise equipment for the spine, it looks like. I just did the research on them. Uh, they seem to be new inside a box. This one was listed for about $89. Uh, I think there was only one listed. I saw some selling in the $50, $60 range. Uh, this one, I saw some selling in the $35, $40 range. I paid $7.99 for this one, $9.99 for that one. So I should make some money on them, I think. They're already in a box. I'll just tape up the box and slap a shipping label on them. It'll be good to go. Got some decent shoe finds here. I uh, found these LL Bean just slip on shoes. They look to be unworn. I'm completely wrong. They do seem to be worn, uh, just not very much. Very clean. They're not anything too special. I think I'm going to sell them for about 25 bucks, but they are clean enough to just list. I won't have to do any extra cleaning. Saves me time. And then I got two pairs of Hoka shoes, which are in good sellable condition. 
These aren't like super good models for Hoka. Uh, some I've sold for $80 pre-owned before. These have some dirt along the edges as well. I actually might wash these. Hoka's wash pretty good in the washing machine. But other than the dirt, they're in great physical condition. And I should be able to sell these for at least $30 a piece, both pairs of these. Usually when I find Hoka's at thrift stores and Goodwill, they're they're just worn down way too much. So good deal. Only paid $4.99 a piece for them. Then I picked up these Skechers shoes, D-Lights. And I've sold D-Lights before. At this point, there's just so many D-Lights on eBay that they're not really worth picking up. You know, maybe if you're getting them for like a dollar, you're able to price them competitively against everyone else. But look at these. These are really unique looking. Uh, they're also in great condition. And they weren't priced up at this Goodwill, which was surprising because usually any shoes automatically price one dollar more at least it's just kind of insulting it's like hey we just want to squeeze one more dollar out of you still i bought them because you know they're rare i could not find any exactly like this so i'm going to price them thirty dollars plus shipping i think they're going to end up selling here's something i've picked up in the past this canasta card game and it's weird every time i find one of these card games i feel like both decks inside are sealed or at least one is again here's one sealed deck in there uh i've gotten about 45 50 dollars pre-owned for these on amazon before right now the price seems to be a bit low i think they were at like 25 dollars right now still you make some good money on amazon they sell great they make money on ebay too but they only sell for like 15 20 bucks on ebay so you know what yeah just pick up just a little bread and butter type item. I also bought some brand new with tags, Levi's jeans, 559s, five five and not marked up at all. So I decided, yeah, I can probably sell these for decent money. I looked them up. It seemed like I was able to sell them for 25, 30 bucks. So maybe I'll lot both together since they're the same size. Or maybe I keep these uh, 36, 34. At least was my size. I've put on a decent amount of weight around my waist. So yeah, these. That size probably don't fit me. I hardly ever wear jeans anymore just because I don't have to. I mean, I don't have to go to a job or anything. So I've just been wearing like joggers and comfortable stuff like that all the time. They're warmer and more comfortable. So this is kind of been what I've been wearing. So, but maybe I'll try them on. If they fit, I'll keep them. But yeah, I should make some decent money on the jeans. I want some Pyrex. Now, I don't see much Pyrex at Goodwill. And if you do, it's usually priced high. There's so many people buying this stuff and most of it's not worth much at all. This one caught my eye. It's in great condition. $6.99. I'm no Pyrex expert, but you know, Google Lens, the design, and look it up. And this seems to be, I think it was called Friendship, and it was from like 1971 or something like that. And it looks like I could sell this for like $30. So I figured, yeah, I'll pick it up. It's in great condition. Here's one of these Homedics palm massagers. Uh, you don't see these too often. Pay $2.99 and I'll be able to sell it for, I think they actually sell for about $40 plus shipping. That is if you have all the attachments and stuff. And then back here, I just stopped in Home Depot. Uh, I usually pop in there from time to time throughout the week just to see clearance. And these faucets were marked down to $35 and they're actually selling great on eBay. I forget what they were selling for, but in my mind at the time when I was looking, I'm like, oh, I could make $60 a piece on these. So I might just sell them on eBay instead of Amazon because they do have some box wear and stickers. So they have too much wear. I don't like to sell them on Amazon. Still, that's going to be some really good profit on those. And here's a pretty cool leather jacket I found. Wasn't priced up. And I believe I was only charged the jacket price, which is $4.89. And not the coat price, which is $6.99. It's always a gamble when you buy these. Um, not really a gamble. I mean, I'm buying it either way. But sometimes they just charge you the jacket price. It just depends on who's, you know, at the register. I'm assuming this should be a coat price. Like, if this isn't a coat, then what is? Anyway, this is Highway 1. This is in great condition. I looked up comps, and I should be able to sell it for at least $49.99 plus shipping is probably what I'm going to price it at. Looks like the sell-through rate's pretty decent. And then I just picked up this Cooperstown vintage shirt from 93 cincinnati reds uh, it was two dollars it's not going to be worth a whole lot like maybe i could make five to ten dollars max but i like to pick up the vintage sports t-shirts and also if you get a few vintage sports t-shirts like this it's you know only worth like 15 20 bucks you can do lots people will buy lots of vintage sports shirts um it can be good extra money but there it is everybody that is my haul today some decent stuff it doesn't take much for the money to start adding up if you're buying good quality stuff. But if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and I'll continue making them. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, flipping underscore junk. And this has been Wick. Until next time.